Making prop fake books couldn't be easier. All you need is some empty boxes and I highly recommend using a masking tape to seal the edges. The reason is that when you use a tape like this that has the plastic sheen to it, the acrylic paint that we'll be using today will beat up on it. Once we have uh, different types of boxes here, these are uh, paper boxes and we also have styrofoam down here. Now if you want to, you can use different types of styrofoam. Here I'm using a white styrofoam and here is a construction pink and this is novel size. So now that we have our assembly pieces, we got to know what years we're going to make these books. So let's look at this chart up close. During the 1400s to the 1600s, your basic color choices were black and dark browns. Basically, the books were bound in leather. 1700s, the mid-1750s, the colors really are the same. There's browns and there's coffees and there's dark reds. But we also notice that right here we start seeing marbleized paper being used in the books of the 1700s. And here is a prop book that I had made using marbleized paper. Now that we have an idea of what kind of book cover to create, let's start creating. If you are using styrofoam, cut it to the book size that you want it, and then you can glue a white sheet of typing paper over it and make sure it is sealed. There, now that I've glued it, I'm gonna let that dry. As shown earlier, I had showed you the book from the 1700s. Basically, it is just a box, and I'm using a paper towel roll cut in half. Once you've cut your paper tube in half, you want to just put it on there and then mask and tape it into place. Once that is finished, mask and tape over the ends. Once you've got the ends sealed like so, Paint the whole entire box with an acrylic black. This is an Alpha 999. Good for coating. Returning now to our first project, we have the styrofoam. Once this is dry, we're going to cut this out to shape. There, and we've cut it out. Now, in stage two, we want to coat it with a 999 black. Now I'll be demonstrating two very important elements. The first thing is the newer the book, the more flat you want the cover. The more older the book, we want wrinkles and all kinds of waves and bumps. This type of distressing in the book is created by the typing paper or the white paper that we had coated the styrofoam with. And here I had dipped the brush in the Alpha 999 and made just a black coating. Once these two are dry, they're ready to be coated. The first book I'll be showing you today is How to Make the 1700. Today I'm going to turn the first Look on its side, we have a, a beautiful spine over here. We can then add some typeface as we want. However, in looking at that, we also have to add some marbleized paper. There's two different ways of making marbleized paper. The first one, you can go to the store and there's a marbleized paper kit, or you could always go and buy the marbleized paper and then put it on there. Next part I want to demonstrate is that this is a dark blue and here we have a black spine. So we need to paint the appropriate color that we want for this book. To create our spine today, I'm using an Ultramarine number 16 Alpha Acrylic and a bit of our Alpha Acrylic 999 Black mixed together. So today I'm using a bit of water and my ultramarine blue. Working into the ultramarine blue, I'm using a little bit of black to darken that because you don't really want to lose the color of the blue to the black. Put that under the hair dryer 
to dry. Acrylic dries instantly. So once you add a hair dryer to it, it's ultra, ultra, ultra quick and dry. Lines, cracks, scra scratches, bubbles, wrinkles. That's what we want in our old books. Our next important thing is to measure the size of the cover and then cut out an appropriate piece of marbleized paper. So on our book today, I've got out my measure here. We need a three by eight and a half, and I have cut out two pieces of marbleized paper to fit. Once you get both sides glued on, now comes the aging process. To make the book look more older, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some more masking tape and we're going to coat the corners with several layers and then we're going to trim that off. I'm going to first paint the corners of our book. To my book today, I'm going to be going back into the Alpha 999 Black. I'm going to be using a phthalo uh, green, let number 11, and a magenta mixed together. Let's see, we have a nice slurry there. I'm going to take a little bit of the black. And that looks good. There it is. Bringing our book back and having make a slurry, we're going to start the aging process. Here, I'm just using paper towel to tap off the excess. This is layer number one. Do the other side as well. With the other book I had made, knowing that there was greens and magentas in the book, I had replicated the colors. Here, I am using a mixture of yellow okra, 607, and a silver gray mixed together for the aging process. Now, let's go back to our foam book today. While this has been drying, I want to show you some other boxes that I had painted. Here, with a burnt umber and sienna brown, looking like prayer books. Don't worry, get sloppy. So now I'll be showing you how to make books look more like this. Yes, it's all paint. There's nothing real about this. Completely fake, which makes awesome props. Now, you have so many different directions you can go in here. Right now here, I'm using a burnt sienna, number 19. You can also use a Van Dyke Brown, number 38. This bottle has been used so much, I need to get another bottle. But we want to put a second coat on there. Using our water to create a slurry, let's paint this little guy up. That stains going in the right places it looks weathered and old now on my other book that i had created one thing that you notice is that there is raised endings well how would one create that well it's quite easy creating any raised edge is quite easy all you need to do is use some children's eye clay and we're going to make some bands today very 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 easy as soon as i can open this <laughs> Look at that. And any color will do. Do not worry about the color of the eye clay. It's not important because everything is repairable. Eye clay sticks to anything. Once you put the bands appropriately, appropriately on the book, next thing is to do a second coat of paint to cover them up. Demonstrating how to make the fake pages on the sides of these books using nothing more than paint. Very easy to do. I'll show you now. We're going to be using our best friend today, a fan brush. Today, my magic palette for making paper today here is burnt sienna number 18, acrylic number 607, yellow ochre, and a dot of silver 995. Let's mix these together and make some pages. We want to appropriately mix the colors together using our yellow ochre as the main staple color. And I'm using over here a little bit of light and just a touch of sienna. I think that's a nice aged color. We're going to add a little bit more silver to lighten. Adding more silver. Yeah, there it is. Go back into the yellow ochre. Yeah. 
yellow paper. Once our book is dry to the touch, we want to use our fan brush today. I would suggest using about a one inch, and we want to go with a bit of black, and we want to use it as a dry brush. You can actually see there's the page lines already. I'm mixing a little bit of yellow as a highlight, an appropriate color right there. We really want to make sure that the fan brush is broken apart. Now. We can start the lines process. Just one draw should do it. A review. Now we have uh, fake books that we've created here at the studio 24 hours later this is dry and we want to mix up the appropriate colors to do up our clay on this and then add labels so let me do a demonstration on labels now comes the label making I had looked at our book it's we're creating a book from the 1700s I have chosen a title from the 1700s of an actual book that exists, The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy, gentleman, probably from England. And I had used an appropriate typeface over here, which is called Strasbourg. Today's colors, I can use a YR31, a BR101, a WG5, or a Terracotta 21, and I'm using touch markers. What I want to do is I want to stain the edges and then create a coating on the inside which ages the label. Once you get your label glued on, the next thing you want to do is put a wash over that which is nothing more than a black 999 with water and that will age this quite sufficiently. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to make fake prop books.